Yes, a very special guest, and he knows all about the collection here at the museum because these paintings are yours. Why, yeah, no, not anymore. <laughs> They're yours now. Yes, and a very exciting one-year anniversary, and uh, you know. I'm so excited about this. I never, you know, the, everybody said it couldn't be done, and now we are on our first anniversary, and, and uh, we did over 130,000 people last year, and we're going to do even more this year, so we're on the way. We want to invite everybody to come on down and see this show because it, this, this is really spectacular. And uh, uh, We thank you for your attendance and your support, uh, but now it's up to you guys to keep it going. Yeah, and everything here is truly amazing, and I'm even taken by the materials. This is actually a velvet painting here behind us. This is us. a velvet painting. It used to be Madonna and Elvis and a, and a bullfighter, but now it's Picasso. And you were saying this is lead here, and this is a, this is a homage lead. to Kandinsky? Uh, Kandinsky. So, uh, uh, the artist said that, uh, Picasso said that art is everything, and Kandinsky said art is nothing. So now you have everything on velvet, and then you have nothing uh, represented by this lead piece. It's a lead, lead shield or foil or something. And you were telling me that Bill Gates wanted to touch this? Yeah, I was, <laughs> he, was, he came to see the show, and, and I was telling him about this painting, and I said, and the best thing about this is on velvet, and he goes, and he just stopped himself right before he touched it. Oh, it's not mine. Okay. <laughs> that, was, that was an interesting moment. And what really, if, if we walk this way, I want to show this other piece too. I mean, what really stands out to me is how much this speaks to me as a Latina. And also, we're seeing, you know, uh, the L.A. skyline and Boyle Heights featured in a lot of it. I mean, so it, it feels very familiar. But this, also very familiar. This one, I just love this piece. You know, this, this is a, 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 a Candy Aguilar uh, from Corpus Christi. And he, and he is a musician as well. But anyways, he was walking by the store one day, and he saw all these signs, and the guy was just putting putting them up, and they were being hand-painted by his sign painter, and I just was dumbfounded by what this says, is how are we the same, <clears throat> and how are we different? What do we eat, and what do we don't eat, and what, what is common among us, and what is not common among us? I, I don't think every store is going to have frozen menudo, but every store is going to have butterball turkeys, you know? So it's like, how are we the same, and how are we different? Yeah. It is very remarkable, and I'm kind of surprised by the prices, so I'm taking this as a while before inflation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This, is, this is in the olden days, you know? We used to barter for food. <laughs> and then there's, if you turn around, I mean, that piece, too, really speaks the, to me. Beautiful, the piñata. This is a young, young guy. Uh, uh, I always forget his name. Uh, 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 well, it says it right there. I'll Let's see. Yeah. His name? is Francisco Palomares. Palomares, Palomares. And he's a young guy, just graduated from art school, I think Art Center in LA. And I was, I was uh, blown away by his ability to paint and the juxtaposition of like a, a constable landscape and, and this crepe paper piñata, which, you know, my mother made me one of these every birthday, you know. Uh, it's, it's just the, those two things together. Uh, it's just, you know, and, and the fact that he's a great painter. This is really good. Yeah, and I wanted to tell you a story, and I also wanted to thank you because you really have done a lot to promote Chicano mm -hmm. culture around the world. And my husband is Chicano, mm -hmm. and he was in Paris, uh -huh. and he was staying at a bed and breakfast. Mm -hmm. And uh, the man there said, uh, "Where are you from?" And my husband says, "Je suis américain." And he looked at him like, "What?" He says, "Je suis mexique américain." The guy's like, "Mexique américain," and he, he seemed confused. And then this other man with a beret said, "Ah, East LA." Yeah, yeah, really. <laughs> I like that, you know. It's a universal language, and it's spreading all over. It was, it was, it was interesting. I lived in Paris for about a year and a half, and 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 I was trying to communicate when I got there. You know, I had, couldn't speak French, and and they wouldn't speak French to me, even though I said exactly perfectly how it was. And uh, but uh, but I spoke English to them, and then they would. Then they, no, and then they would. Uh, but I start, start speaking Spanish to them, and then they spoke English to me. <laughs> so <laughs> there you go. That's what. That's the secret. secret. <laughs> well, thank you so much for thank joining you. us this morning, and come on down. And again, it's the one-year anniversary. They have lots of events planned, including concerts. Really worth the trip. Let's send it back to you guys. Thank so you, Christy. You gotta go see Cheech. Bye, Cheech. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>